In 1976, the first Paul Miller dealership opened its doors with a single-minded philosophy. Treat each customer the way you want to be treated. That meant treating the customer with total and uncompromising integrity, along with delivering the most value possible. Today, that unwavering corporate philosophy has come to be known as the Paul Miller Difference. Welcome to the first episode of Broadway Burroughs. I'm Candy Boyd. And I'm Quinn Van Antwerp, and we're your hosts. <laughs> Candy lives in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. She's been the Universal Swing for Jersey Boys for over five years, where she's covered 20 different women in five different companies. Broadway Bros is the show that lets you see where Broadway calls home. There are hundreds of theater professionals that live in and around the five boroughs of New York City. But my New York is different than Queens, New York, which is different than your New York. Have you ever wondered, does Elphaba live in a walk-up? Or is the Phantom a hipster? Join us each and every episode as we go to the homes and neighborhoods of some of the best actors, designers, and directors on Broadway today and get to know their New York. Hi, welcome back to Broadway Burroughs. We're your hosts. I'm Candy Boyd. And I'm Quinn Van Antwerp. And Broadway Burroughs is the show that lets you see where Broadway calls home. Today we're visiting another Broadway couple, Lindsay Northern and Jared Bradshaw. Come on, let's go. Right, and because of that reputation, this area was very undervalued for decades until the 90s when they cleaned it up. Now since then, a lot of famous people have lived here. Tom Hanks and Robert De Niro, Sutton Foster and Andrew Rannells have all lived in Hell's Kitchen. But the location comes with a price. The average rental price in Hell's Kitchen is $3,800 a month. Wow. And if you want to buy an apartment here, the average price is $1.5 million. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Well, I can't wait to see their place. I think it's right around the corner. So baby, one bedroom apartment, Yes. how does it all fit? Um, well, you saw her crib yes. in the bedroom, okay. and that's sort of her space. And then we like to call this closet, which used to be storage, uh -huh. her nursery. Oh, she has, so she does have a nursery. She has a nursery, oh, is this closet. That. That's amazing. Um, I'm sorry. I know, they're very cute. Look, we also have a good old fashioned chuck. Yes, red high top chuck. she has more shoes than I do. Okay, last question. Final question. I think this one's the hardest. Yeah. We could be wrong. Okay. This could be like the easiest one for you. What is Judy Garland's real name? Oh, he knows this one. Francis Gum. <gasps> Two M's. Middle, middle? I don't know, middle name. Middle name. Eileen? Closer. Esther. Oh. Ethel. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ethel? Damn it. <laughs> After a great visit with Jessica, Eric, and Elliot, we decided to check out their favorite neighborhood spot, Sanford's, right around the corner. How ironic, though, that you and I and Eric and Jessica have all lived in the store. I mean, it's such a wonderful, safe neighborhood. There's right. so many great stops to live off of here. I mean, it is kind of like a little neighborhood just outside of the city, and it's so convenient to get to Midtown. Joining us on Broadway Burrows, I'm Quinn. I'm Candy. Join us next time in the next borough.